Anyone who spends time in a school knows that it, what we've been doing isn't working for all of our students' diverse needs. We're asking people to think outside the box and to think ahead to how things are going to be for our students when they leave school. We're going through something called a flipped classroom, which allows me to take most of my work online. So for example, say, if I'm up ahead, the students who are far behind get more help with the teacher, while I can, while I'm free to move ahead as I please. It means a lot more to me, because instead of something robotic and just a bit um, tedious, you have something much more personal and much more unique. Reimagining is um, thinking only the best of what could work in our context. I think students are beginning to really recognize that they have more voice in the schools than they think they do. I think staff are realizing they have much more voice in terms of how they'd like students to learn and what they want them to learn uh, than they ever thought they could have. I think us as students have a lot more choice in how we want to see things. It gives us a, um, a sense of responsibility and we're able, we're able to learn from that because outside in the real world after school we make choices on our own and we need to learn. We need to learn how to be independent and responsible. Knowing that our teachers allow us to do that kind of stuff is, is really good. It, I feel respected, I feel that they trust me. I know a lot of the people out there and I know their dedication. I, I know the teachers want change. I also know sometimes there's reluctance because teachers don't want to mess up. They want things to be perfect all the time. Therefore, you're not as likely to take risks. You need somebody to tell you it's okay. We have students, for example, taking a creative reading or a creative writing course where they're choosing their own readings and they're choosing how they're going to write and what they're going to write about and the media that they're going to use for that. At the end of every book we do, we have to do something called a little activity where you pick something and you'll do an activity on that. You can do movie trailers, you can do a little play based on your book, we have a class iPad, and there's an app called iMovie, and that's where you make all this stuff. Ultimately, and, and as a whole, um, because teachers feel supported in this change process, and they, it is a change process, uh, it's unleashed some of the, the creative energy in the building. It's changed to more of a problem solving. So, you know, if they're not understanding how to do it this way, how else can I show them? I think just having that freedom to say, okay, it didn't work exactly as planned, but we'll still take what was good from it and try to improve upon it. An example of reimagining education in our school is our grade seven, eight classroom. We went through a very big change. We used to be in the basement, but now the grade seven, eight class is in our old computer room. 
and it's all repainted and we got new desks and couches and chairs. We have had a lot more fun in the classroom this year because we're so like bright and all the energy is just flowing better and it just works. At first students weren't sure what to make of some of the new strategies or some of the new ownership that they've been empowered with uh, through Reimagine. But now that they have a better understanding and we're well underway into our processes, um, the building has come alive. Seeing engagement from those students who maybe aren't feeling that in all the time in their regular classroom I think is really exciting to see and I think it's a positive step in the right direction for us as educators. The support has been amazing. Um, support from the province, support from senior administration, support from we as principals. For a little place like Lakeshore that's again almost unimaginable, but we've reimagined that it can be done.